Hey everybody, welcome back for some more Pokemon Violet. We are pretty much at the bottom of Area Zero, as far as I know. Uh, we're about to hit the lab to see uh, Professor Toro and see what's going on. Uh, we still can't use Maridon, which is a bummer. And the whole lab looks like it's... Have we finally reached the deepest part? We made it. Ready to see if those legends of treasure down here are for real? Yeah, right. That's just fluff they write to fill the textbooks. Hello, children. You've done well to make it here. The structure you see before you is the Zero Lab. That's where you are, right, Professor? But wait, why does it look like the whole place is being swallowed up by crystals? The crystals here in Area Zero possess a peculiar energy. This energy can alter the functions of living things and optimize the performance of machinery. It is the same energy that allows Pokemon to terrestrialize. So this entire building's been terrestrialized? Is that what you're saying? Don't be silly, Harvin. The professor implied something important about terror orbs just now. They're made from the crystals down here in Area Zero, aren't they? Indeed, though not many know of them. Since you have disabled all four locks, the gate to the Zero Lab should now be open for you. But once you open the gate, you will quickly be confronted with the dangerous Pokemon inside. They will likely make a break for freedom. With the four of you working together, you should be able to best them. Prepare yourselves well, then open the gate. You've got me and Mark here. Doesn't matter what we're up against, we'll be fine. Well then, that puts all my worries to rest. <laughs> Wonder if he was being sarcastic. <laughs> well, let's go! Open the gate to the Zero Lab. You decided to press the button and open. Hold it. Why? We're finally on the cusp of getting into the lab. Look, if it's true that a bunch of really dangerous Pokemon might come at us, then shouldn't we also have Maridon help? Yeah, if Maridon were like how we first saw it in the Inlet Grotto, that'd be a huge help. I want to see a battle. But it hasn't even won to let us ride it ever since we came down to Area Zero and it can't enter its battle form in the first place. But it's really strong. I know it is. It ate all those Urban Mystica we found, too. When it really matters, it sure it'll fight. Area Zero is where it used to live. If you bring it out of its ball now, maybe it'll be able to find its family, too, right? It's pretty sensible by your standards, Arvin. I don't know. Well, Mark, let me ride it out. Alright, let's see. Alright, come on, Mark. Now that we've got Maraudon ready, it's time to open that gate. Alright, what's gonna come at us? Whoa, there's the other one. Uh-oh. Uh I don't think it's happy. Family reunion, it's happening. Oh, no way. Uh... No, something's not right. Yeah, it did not look too happy. <laughs> it's okay, little buddy.
What's wrong? Are you bummed that your heartwarming family reunion got cut off so quickly? Are you joking? There was nothing heartwarming about it. We were this close to getting caught up in a nasty brawl. Wait, for real? Just look at Maridon, poor thing's terrified. Guess that other one isn't exactly its pal. Yeah, that other Pokemon was giving off some real bad vibes. Not that you should worry a thing about any of that. Once we get you back into your battle form, I'm sure you'll be going toe-to-toe -to -toe against that jerk. If you know, if you want to. <laughs> Sorry, guess that doesn't really help, huh? Do you think that other Maridon was one of the dangerous Pokemon the Professor warned us to watch out for? But didn't the Professor say the dangerous Pokemon would come out from inside? I mean, from inside the gate we used? Like those? Oh dear. What the? <laughs> uh, I think we're all gonna have to take a partner here. Oh, maybe not. We're surrounded. And it's pretty obvious they're not here to roll out a friendly welcome mat. Look at those Hariyamas. There's no way we can handle this many. Don't tell me they're all future Pokemon. We've got a little disaster on our hands here. Look, even that fellow fellow's ready to bail. And I guess it's my turn. I've been waiting. Come on, Mark, let's do this together. That's one. Oh, they're strong. Now this is a worthwhile challenge. I'm glad you're on our side, but you're still really annoying when you say stuff like that. Ugh, why are they coming at me? Mark, help me out here. I got you. what type this thing's gonna be. Oh, we just bitter blade it and hope that it, maybe it's a... Uh, maybe it's a steel type. <laughs> Iron hands. Oh, that did not do much. Seismic toss. <laughs> Used it on the wrong one, dummy. Will this work? Psychic. Okay, so it's still a fighting type. There we go. Now I need to catch one. I'm assuming I couldn't catch that. <laughs> Future must be terrifying. Oh no, they're running away. Yeah, and? Those Pokemon get out, we're gonna have a gigantic mess on our hands. We gotta go after them, Penny. Why me? Wait. Hold on, Nomono. And why do I get the feeling you're enjoying all this? Hope the two of them can handle their part. But at least the crowd's been thinned out now. Guess it's up to us to deal with what's left. Let's go for this strong looking one first. Cerule is just not going to be good for this. Crap. Give me my health back. Nice. 
See, the power of friendship had us perfectly in sync. All thanks to our titan hunting together. <clears throat> Still scared, huh? You worried you might have to face that other one of your kind? Well then, let me take on some of the burden. These stragglers should be nothing. Me and Mabustev here can take them. So Mark, you take your partner there and go take care of business. Glad to see you've got some faith in us at last. Mabustev can't wait to battle either. Alright then. You really ruined my whole childhood, you know. But it's not like seeing you cowering and scared out of, out of your wits makes me feel any better about it. You've got amazing powers. If you just use them, you've got us too. So, so, so don't you even think about losing to that jerk. Be brave and stand up and fight. Alright, in we go. Human presence detected within the Zero Lab. Professor? Detecting sleep mode. Oh, deactivating sleep mode. Oh, dude, he's a robot. Hello, Mark. Thank you for coming. Um, no, back to your ball. Is it a master ball? That one is far less tractable and far more aggressive than the one you've traveled with. Murmuride on Flit Area Zero because it lost to the other one in a ter territorial struggle. I'm afraid that there is something for which I must apologize. I am not the true Professor Toro. And then who are you? I am an artificial intelligence the Professor created, imbued with his memories and knowledge. In short, I am an AI-powered robot. The real professor passed away during the incident that destroyed research station number four. The Pokemon was not to be blamed. It was the original professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. I believe the professor wanted nothing more than for Maridon to survive and thrive. That is why he threw himself in front of your Maridon in an attempt to protect it. From the time I first reached out to Director Clavo and asked to be put into contact with you, I was never more than an AI. Mark, the reason I asked you to come to me is because I have one last thing to do here at the Zero Lab, and I desire your help. In short, I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. Any questions can be addressed as we make our, our descent. Follow me. Okay. Dude built a robot of himself. That's pretty impressive. Booster energy? I didn't get a chance to really read that, but cool. <laughs> this elevator will take us down to the lower level. Step inside. Mark, it truly is a great relief to me that you came. I will answer any questions you may have. Is there anything you wish to know? The time machine is a device that the original professor and I worked on together. It sends Pokeballs to a different point on the timeline to catch Pokemon there, and it can then draw them back here to the present. When he was alive, Professor Toro had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age what you might call future Pokemon. 
Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw future Pokemon to this time. Is there anything else you wish to ask? As I explained to you before, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the research station, his physical body received grievous injuries that left it unable to sustain life. I am afraid that this fact may be difficult for his son Arvin to accept. I now manage the Zero Lab in the original professor's place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? An AI is an artificial intelligence created by a human being. The computer draws on the original professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. Results of those calculations are expressed by this mechanical body, built to resemble the professor in every way. Humanity does not, in fact, possess the knowledge to develop such a sophisticated AI at present, but the crystals that made up the Zero Lab have made such a thing possible here. They are also why I cannot leave this place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? The original professor had a dream of a world in which future Pokemon might live alongside present-day Pokemon in harmony. But these Pokemon have gained a strange power due to their adaptions in the distant future, and this power has proved too terrible. Their very existence brings destruction to the ecological balance of this current age. The original professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the future Pokemon from escaping into the rest of Paldea. But we've begun to see Pokemon appear that can break the barrier such as Iron Treads. Eventually, they will break free of this walled garden known as Area Zero and run rapid around or across the Paldea region. And when they do, the rich and varied ecosystem of Paldea will be trampled beneath their coming. I may have been created as a copy of the Professor, and yet I cannot seem to find the logic in allowing such a tragedy to occur. But any hope of preventing it would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original professor ever devised. Mark, you have become a formidable trainer. Now use that strength you have gained to destroy the dream Toro once cherished. I appreciate your willingness to help. We have reached the lowest level. this room. That's so freaky. Behold, this is the time machine we perfected using the power of the terrestrial phenomenon. To stop the time machine, you will need to use the professor's ID, which has been embedded within the Violet Book. It is very like the professor to put the final key we would need in that book of all places. He loved that volume since childhood. If you place the Violet Book upon the pedestal here, you will be able to stop the time machine. There is just one issue. If you try to stop the machine, I will most likely attack you. Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overridden by the system's programming. Once that happens, I'm afraid I will become no more than a battle machine, bound to defeat anyone identified as an obstacle by my code. My battling capabilities are perilous. They are built upon analysis of all the battles carried out by the various champions of Paldea region. Having seen the bond between you and your Pokemon, however, I believe you can prevail. Once you have readied yourself for this fight, please place the Violet Book upon the pedestal. Ooh. Who do I go with first? Um, I don't know what his team... I'm guessing his team will be all the future Pokemon, maybe? Hmm. I guess we'll go with Cerulege and just hope for the best. Here we go. Restoral access granted. Initiating emergency shutdown. Please wait. Please wait. 
Access denied. Shutdown command overridden, reinitializing. It is up to you now, Mark. AI Toro switch into sleep mode, activating offensive protocols. Please defeat me. Whoa. At, at last. At last my dream is within reach. You are not getting in the way. This dude's just carrying around Master Balls. Oh dear. AI Toro has initiated a battle. Oh, Iron Moth? Oh dear. Well, this thing was normally a bug fire type, so I'm guessing... It, I don't know who you think you are, but I'm not about to let anyone get in the way of my goals. Discharge. Ow. This is the power the distant future holds. Splendid, isn't it? Alright, Professor. There's a full team. One down. Iron Thorns. Um, I don't know what Pokemon that would be. Oh, Tyranitar. Um, oh god, this is gonna be like a ground type, isn't it? Try to get my health back. Yep, not very effective. Stone Edge. Oh crap, I'm dead. <sighs> so it's a rock type. For sure. Do you imagine you can best the law of your death? My disposal with your human brain. This is calculated. A critical hit to your Pokemon. It's time to you. Simply gave up, child. You get one crit and you think you got this one, dude. Let me show you what a crit really looks like. That's a crit. Now, this is interesting, child. Do you actually understand future Pokemon's weaknesses? I'm getting the hang of it. What sort of... Error has occurred here. We calculate him for critical damage. Alright. So he's gonna go for Iron Jugulus. Hmm. Does it keep its dragon typing? I would assume so, right? Battle this thing enough. Flame for oh no! I did change the natures of all of my Pokemon as well. To try to help them out. That's not gonna do much now. Damn. Survive. Survive. Alright. We can get lucky here. Come on. Don't get burned. Phew. 
Iron hands. Uh, we don't really have a Pokemon for it. Um, we'll just go with Palm out, I guess. effective against any of this. This would just go for it. And of course. Sire. You got this, buddy. Tank it. Ah. You can do it. No. Poisoned it, but... Doesn't matter. Alright. Another one down. That seemed to be the most terrifying one of all. Iron bundle. Uh, if we're faster than it. So, water pulse, please don't kill it. Crap. <sighs> I was not expecting him to take him out like that. Snowscape. You can stop that right about now. Crit kill this, please. Thank you. He's got one left. Iron Valent. Oh, is that the Gardevoir one? Everything is proceeding within my expectations. I am afraid the probability of you winning is zero. Let's see about that. There it is. Energy booster was used up. Quick drive. Balance attack was heightened. Alright. I don't know what typing this is going to be. I'm hoping it's psychic. Nope. It's probably fairy. Crap. Dude, we are so screwed. If this thing is fairy, I can't even hit this thing. Spirit break? No. 
Okay, we have to max revive somebody. But who? Would it be a good idea to max revive through ledge? Oh, last ditch effort. this oh my god <laughs> dude that was so close you defeated AI Toro impossible the power of items <laughs> defeated me <laughs> good lord What is this? Did you already beat all the baddies without me? Okay, out with it, you. Who are you really? Thank you for everything. The time machine has finally, has finally been stopped. You're really not my dad, are you? Oh look, how big you've grown. So proud of you, my... Sorry you were alone so long, our D dad Security system failure. Threat to time machine detected. What's going on now? Is another army of Pokemon on its way here? It cannot be. An obstacle is preventing the time machine from performing as intended. Activating Paradise Protection Protocol to remove the offending obstacle. Was keeping the time machine running truly all the professor cared about? Locking all Pokeballs except those registered to Toro's ID. Wait, what? Programming, initializing, gathering terrestrial energy. I'm sorry, children. This is too much for you. You must run. AI Toro disable Paradise Protection Protocol initialize. Oh my god. Oh no. You are not getting in my way. You are challenged by AI Toro. Oh, you're challenged by Paradise Protection Protocol. Oh no. <laughs> you can't battle without a Pokemon on the field. It's true, our Pokeballs won't work. How are we ever even supposed to battle? Well, we... I don't know. <laughs> Some crazy electrical signal is jamming our Pokeballs. Even I can't get them open. That's totally cheating, and you call yourself an adult? So what are we supposed to do now? Oh. That's what they wanted me to do. Only, uh, only Toro's ID, huh? 
Let's go. You can do it. Sweet. Kick its butt. Versus. Hadron engine. Okay. Wait, what type are we? What the heck is this? Terra blast. Even though we're not. Crystallizing. It's taunting me, really. I mean, considering we can't train this thing, <laughs> I would imagine the battle can't be too tough. Change into its battle form. Let's go, Maridon, you got this. We will fall here within this garden paradise and achieve nothing in the end. Ow. You will not be allowed to destroy my paradise obstacles. Two of my goals will be eliminated. Charge. Special defense. This looks like it could be bad. Hang in there, Mark. Hmm. The data say I am superior. Fall and become a foundation upon which my dream may be built. Hyper beam? Oh my god. Took that hit like a champ. You can do this. I know you can. Uh, max potion. Just in case. I don't want to have to do this again. Right, I must recharge. Really not pull off a win here? This doesn't look good. Your terror is glowing. Right on Terastalize, finish this off. Ooh. Attack Rose. Defense Rose. Special Attack Rose, oh my god. Alright. Speed everything. Oh, you are so dead. Let's blast our way into the credits, everybody. Terra Blast. Ooh. The opposing Marad unfainted. Yeah, you're done now. You defeated the Paradise Protection Protocol. Wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> you did it. <that. laughs> it's not going berserk anymore. How? How very interesting. Outstanding. To think that you would manage to defy even the original professor's final protections. Are you back to normal? Yes. Completely unforeseen outcome, even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. 
Even on the brink of despair, you children did not give in and instead proved your worthiness, showing the wisdom to think for yourselves, the courage to hold faith in your friends, and the fortitude to do what had to be done, no matter how challenging of a future may await you. I believe you will be capable of walking whatever paths you choose for yourselves now, with pride. I thank you, Mark. I thank all of you children. But I am afraid that the time machine cannot be put to a complete stop so long as I am here. It appears I myself am part of the system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. What does that mean? I am sorry. You know, when I was watching you all on your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of jealousy. I envied you, your freedom. The way that you came together working in league with your fellows and caring for them. The way that you sought strength to do better yourself, throwing all of you are into your battles. The way that you would face down even the greatest enemies to save that which you loved. The way that you never ceased to seek, nor to fight for a treasure all on your own. And the way that you soared free through the skies on those wings of yours. I wish that I, too, might be as free as you all, free to seek out that which I might treasure. Above all else, not bound. Your own treasure? As long as I remain here, the time machine will not stop, for I am inextricably connected to it. So I've made a decision. I will use the time machine to journey to the world of the future that I have dreamed of. What? You can't just leave now, right when we finally reached you. I'm not going only so that the time machine can be stopped. I also cannot deny my desire to see that future world for myself. Is this what it feels like to have your heart race with the thrill of adventure? Arvin, I am sorry that I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the professor, and so I understand better than any. Your father truly loved you. You, you can't. You can't just go and say a thing like that now. No, I suppose you're right. I'm sorry. Arvin, Raiden, Mark, it is a little sad, but I am afraid this is a goodbye. Dad. No, Professor. Farewell, my free adventurers. I bid you adieu. He's taking the book, too. Freaky machine. How could you just go, Dad? Arvin, you okay, bud? Yeah, somewhere deep down, I kind of already knew it. I knew that thing was fake, but it... When it said my name using his voice and wearing his face, even if it was fake, it felt real, you know? And so I just, I... Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. It's okay. It's okay. Guess Mariah on the sad, too. Look at that battle form. How cool is that? It's so strong. If it tries to nudge at me for a belly rub while it's huge like this, I seriously think I'm gonna die. <laughs> Hey now, let's not skip over the big win here. Mark and Mariah just saved all of Paldea. That's right, you both did amazing. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, thanks. That's my bud mark for you. You know, Arvin, even though the professor's gone, I bet he's finally having a real fun adventure of his own in the future. Yeah, thanks, Penny. Yeah, sorry. What should we do now? You said it. Come on, everyone. Let's get out of here and make our way home. Well, as we make our way home, I would like to thank everybody for watching today. This was a really long episode. Very, very long episode. <laughs>
<laughs> but if you stayed tuned to the, the whole of it, I thank you very much. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Now, depending on what plays during the credits, I might just cut it early. Because <laughs> if it plays a certain song, I don't want to get uh, a strike if it even plays anything at this point, because it doesn't seem like it wants to do anything. <laughs> Hello? Game? I swear to God if it froze. Oh. I thought it froze. <laughs> that was so long. Okay, everybody, listen up. What is it? Let's take the long road home and get a little more fun out of this adventure. I don't really... Sounds great if we can load up on snacks first time in. Hey, Mark, not you too. <laughs> oh, alright, fine. I guess we're doing this. If it plays a certain song, I'm going to cut it. 